good morning y'all so it's about 8 a.m on saturday morning we are getting ready to go sign our lease for the new apartment i'm so excited and hopefully we'll get some time alone there for me to show you what it looks like empty before we start moving in um andrew's in the shower right now i am honestly still a little bit drunk but you know what i'm getting it together i'm getting it together i'm gonna have some coffee gonna have some water I'm gonna do my makeup put on some clothes i gotta get over there and sign this freaking lease y'all because it's the most important thing last night we stayed out way too late at the karaoke bar we didn't go to sleep till probably like 1 30 in the morning and then we had to get up at 7 30 because we both had to take showers <laughs> so i'm feeling a little bit rough but it's actually a good thing because tonight we're gonna go to bed nice and early so we can get up really early tomorrow and drive back to colorado which I am not looking forward to. I never want to go back to Colorado again. Everything terrible in my life is there. But we got to go back and get our stuff. Like I can't leave my herbs and my books behind. And like we need our dishes and clothes and stuff like that. So it's, you know, we've got to go back and do it. And we've also got to put the house up for sale. Which I hope we're going to be able to do in a week that we're there um we're gonna contact a real estate agent immediately and try to get the process rolling as quickly as possible and we have a lot of stuff that we have to clear out of that house which we're probably gonna have to hire some help with um we have but we have to get back to arkansas because andrew has already been hired for his new job and they're gonna want him to start as soon as possible so it's gonna be a very hectic stressful week coming up for us after today but today is all fun when we go get our new apartment and then we're going to go thrifting for some new furniture and things for the new apartment. So yesterday I had two BPD meltdowns. Um, the first one was when we were hiking. I handled it really well. Um, Andrew h helped me and was very supportive of me, which was very nice to see because that was the first time that I really had a meltdown since we got back together. And he was very supportive and understanding as long as I didn't take my emotions out on him, which I did not do. And I've learned how to control that much at least. I had another one last night in the car on our way home from the bar because I felt like I disappointed Andrew because I did not sing karaoke and he did. And I felt like he wouldn't like me for that and that he would want to be with somebody who was more fun so i kind of had a little emotional freak out over that and i don't feel like i handled it very well and andrew told me that everything that i was thinking was all made up in my head and that he didn't feel that way so that's something that i'm gonna have to bring up in therapy um because i'm still struggling a lot with my self-esteem and my self-worth and feeling like i'm a good enough person for anybody to want to be with or be around or be friends with or be a partner with so that's just another struggle i'm having that is causing me to not be able to handle my emotions i don't know i'm probably not saying this very articulately because like i said I had a lot of whiskey last night and I don't think it's all out of my system yet so um, I'm gonna go finish getting ready and hopefully we'll have our apartment very soon. I'm still afraid something's gonna go wrong. I, I'm catastrophizing everything which is another thing I have to bring up in therapy y'all. I got a lot of shit to work on okay but I'm trying. I'm trying so damn hard and I'm making a lot of progress but I'm just not gonna be perfect overnight you know. Anyway I gotta go finish getting ready and I'll see you guys in a bit at the new place. Y'all we just signed the lease on our apartment. It's ours. We've got the key in our hand. We paid our pet fees, our rent and everything. Um, I really, really like this place. It is, and we're gonna show it to you, but right now they have a couple more things to fix. They, like the handle on the stove they've gotta fix and the uh, sink sprayer they've gotta fix. So they're in there doing that now, but we do have the key and I am gonna show it to you before this vlog is over. Um, it is huge. It's way bigger than our house was. We have so much space. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, right now, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe try to get a bite to eat and then maybe hit up some thrift stores and start looking for some uh, furniture for the apartment. We just pulled up to Phil's restaurant. It's right here on Central, right across from the racetrack. Um, but there is a lot of parking open, so hopefully there won't be too much of a wait. Behind us is the Oaklawn racetrack. So I imagine a lot of tourists come here, but 
It doesn't look too bad. All right, y'all, we got in. We got a table in the corner, and this place is so cute. It has all these antique pictures and stuff hanging all around. It's a really cute little place. Look, they have all you can eat. Oh my God, all you can eat? They have all you can eat. Sausage, eggs, grits for hash brown, biscuits, gravy. Oh my God, build your own omelet. I might get it, I think I'm gonna get an omelet though. They have a lot of good stuff. Thank you so much, okay. appreciate it. I, I really think I'm gonna do a build your own omelet, I don't know. They also have chocolate gravy, y'all. That's a southern, that's a southern uh, dish right there. Let me know if you've ever had chocolate gravy. They actually got our order in really fast considering how busy it is in here. It's packed. We did have to wait a little bit, but it was only like five minutes and they got us right in and their food looks really good. I got an omelet and Andrew got some kind of two egg breakfast. We'll see what they bring out. I just thought of what this place reminds me of. It's like being in your grandma's house. It's like granny's house in here. It really is. And like, see the kitchen back there? It's like, um, this looks like it used to be a house. It used to be a house and it's been converted into like a little diner. It's really cute. So look how cute they serve the water in mason jars. I'm sorry about the um, quality of the video in here, but the lighting is not good. But I'm still trying to show you what we got. And we both got coffee and cream and our water in mason jars. And we're just waiting on our breakfast now. Our food is here. Andrew got this huge plate of hash browns, bacon, and there's some eggs under there. He got biscuits and she's bringing some gravy for his biscuits. And then I got this gigantic sausage and bacon omelet with a side of bacon. <laughs> It's so much bigger than I thought. Like, seriously, look, here's my hand. Here's the omelet. Um, it looks really good, though. I'm starving. All right, and here's the Andrew's biscuits with his gravy. This is just white country gravy. How is it? Good. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. All right, y'all. Going in. This is the aftermath of my of my breakfast. I couldn't even eat half of that omelet, y'all. It was so huge. I ate a lot of the meat out of it, but I'm gonna take the rest home and have this for dinner. So I got two meals out of this. Andrew, on the other hand, though, he pretty much devoured his. <laughs> so we're just pulling up to our favorite thrift store in Hot Springs. It's called Abilities Unlimited, and they provide jobs to people with disabilities, so it's a really good cause and also they just have really good stuff and sorry i'm bouncing all over the place here so we're about to head in here and see if we can find any stuff for the apartment we're specifically looking for furniture items that we can get in the car like small tables lamps stuff like that that we may not be able to bring with us from colorado um so let's go in and see what they've got they usually have a pretty good selection but obviously we haven't been in here in several years because we haven't been in arkansas but I think it should still be about the same. Also, I realize I have said absolutely nothing about my nose ring in any of the vlogs. Um, it's fake. Now you know. It's a fake septum ring that I'm trying out to see if I like it. I do really like it, so I'm gonna get a real septum piercing as soon as we get back down here. I just wanted to try out a fake one so I could see if it was something that I wanted to do permanently, and um, I really like it, so I'm gonna do it. Also look for some clothes in here because if I remember correctly, they always had really good prices on their clothing and God knows I need some new stuff. Here's a cute little table maybe for the living room or something. Let's see. $40, nah. I don't think I wanna spend $40 on it. Here's an office chair for $10, but it looks almost just like the one I have, but it's like missing some of the leather right here. Not much back here, y'all found this little side table right here for $25, but there's only one of them. I wish there were two because we could put those in the bedroom. Just not finding a lot of stuff in here today. I feel like they used to have a lot more stuff than this. A lot of like old pictures and stuff. I don't really see anything I like. Some big old mirrors over there. Here's a little, oh, that's a big dresser. That's bigger than we could move in the car, I think. Just not a lot here today, y'all. There's just like a bunch of random stuff here. 
I don't really see anything I like or think we could use. I found these candle holders are really nice. Glass taper holders, but they're six dollars. I think I want to spend six dollars on used candle holders. Well, they just didn't have anything in there as far as furnishings today. That was really disappointing. I didn't even look at the clothes because I, I'll do that another time. They did have pretty good prices on their clothing in there. But, um, yeah, that's just not what I'm in the mood to shop for today. So, we're going to go try Goodwill now. So, we're actually going to go to this Salvation Army family store. They have furniture and furnishings and that kind of stuff in their thrift store. Um, and it's on the way to Goodwill, so we thought we'd just stop here first. So let's go in and see what they've got. Uh, Salvation Army Family Store, they've got shoes, TVs, clothes, furniture, lamps, and collectibles. <laughs> so let's see if they have anything we want. They've got like some old household stuff we're looking at now. I don't really see anything here. We're just looking around. It's a pretty big store. It goes way back there. They have all like the clothes and stuff in the middle. I haven't seen any, very much furniture yet though. Well, here's some furniture back here. So we're gonna go look at this stuff. I also see a washer and dryer over there, which we need. Let's go see how much those are. We don't have any way to move them, but my stepdad has a truck and he could probably come help us if we found something. What is it? Sold. It's sold, oh man. We really could have used that, but that's okay. Let's keep $65. looking around. $65 is all it was? Yeah, at least one of them, yeah. Oh my god. 65, no wonder it sold so fast. Y'all, I like these little end tables right here. There's two of them. The problem is they want $25 each. So it'd be $50 for both of them. And I just can't pay $50 for some old used end tables. So I think I'm going to pass on those. There's some old velvet chairs that look like they belong in some kind of layer or a church maybe a church layer well that was another disappointment they didn't have anything in there besides those two end tables i showed you but they were just like way too expensive i wasn't gonna pay 50 dollars for those i would have paid 10. um but we've got one more thrift store to try and we can always hit up some yard sales estate sales that kind of thing once we get down here um, but we're just kind of killing time today because we can't leave until tomorrow morning So we got to do something with the rest of our time here And we thought we'd try to do something productive by trying to find stuff for the new house So they just recently built this huge big Goodwill in our town and we have never been here before So we're about to go in and check it out and see if they have any furniture Goodwill is like notoriously bad on prices in my opinion, but we don't have anything else to do, so we're gonna go check it out. Okay, this is the furniture section. There's like three things here. Like some old 70s chairs. That's all I see. And like some kind of old office desk. That's it. So I guess we're not gonna find anything here either. That was really bad. <laughs> there was nothing in there worth buying or even looking at. Um, they did have a lot of clothes, so I think once we get down here, I probably will go back to these thrift stores to look for clothes, but as far as household stuff goes, they had nothing, nothing that we wanted, so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. Maybe we'll go and see if we can look at the apartment. All right, y'all, we're in the apartment. I just walked in the front door, and I'm about to give you the tour. Okay, so right when you walk in the front door, um, this is the living room. Look how big it is, y'all. It's huge. Okay, it goes all the way back here and then we have this window with a lovely view of just this wooded area back here. And then over here we have the kitchen and y'all know I am so freaking happy about this kitchen, okay? So we've got the oak wood cabinets, a full size dishwasher, and I'm gonna show you what I look like next to the cabinets as soon as Andrew gets in here because they are, re they are not too high. I have a double stainless steel sink, y'all. Another beautiful view of the wood, wooded area outside. Over here, we've got a real ass stove, okay? A real stove and oven. Lots of counter space. Look at all of this counter space. I, I mean, cabinet space, sorry. Cabinet space and counter space. And then there's our refrigerator. 
Um, she said they are going to be replacing the appliances soon. So we are going to be getting all new appliances. But for now, we kind of have these old ones. But that's okay with me. It's still better than what we have at our house in Colorado, right? So I'm going to let Andrew hold the camera so you guys can see the cabinets. Okay, so here are the cabinets. Here's me next to the cabinets. They come like up to my hip. So I can actually use the cabinets, wash the dishes, and they're not like way up here like at the old house. I'm really happy about that. And we do have like this fluorescent light that I'm not too crazy about, but there's also a light underneath the stove right here I just turned on. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's alright, it's all right, I guess. But uh, I'm just happy to have like functional cabinets, lots of cabinet space in here, way more than we had before. Um, so I'm so excited. So let's go look at the rest of the house. So from the gigantic living room that's like three times as big as our old living room, um, we come into the hallway. And right here, let's see if I can turn on a light here. Okay, there we go. Uh, right here is the laundry room. Now the doors are not on the laundry room right now because they're waiting for us to get our washer and dryer in here and then they're going to hang these doors up for us. But anyway, this is where the washer and dryer go in this little nook and the, the hot water heater is also in there. And I don't know if we have a light. Yeah, we do have a light in there. So yeah, and they just told us to let them know when we get the washer and dryer in and then they will hang the doors. And there's like a little stain on the floor, but you won't be able to see that once the washer and dryer's in here. Okay, and then coming down the hall over here, we have our first bathroom. That's right, y'all. This place has two full bathrooms, okay? And they are huge. Look at this. This is the bathroom sink, and this is gonna be like our guest bathroom. There's the toilet. And then over here we have our uh, tub. So this is the first bathroom that's in the hallway. And then coming down here in the hallway, we have a closet, like a utility closet where we can keep like, our, probably keep my vacuum cleaner and stuff like that in there. We got a thermostat here, so this is all electric. And then here is the first bedroom. This is gonna be uh, Andrew and I's bedroom. So it's pretty big. It's definitely bigger than our old bedroom in our old house, for sure. Um, it's got a very big closet over here. This is kind of like a walk-in closet. It's got a light in it so it's really big especially compared to that little teeny tiny closet that we had before so we should have plenty of space in here it's got all new carpet throughout the apartment and fresh paint as well so this window is like a view out into the parking lot so i'm not going to show you that but then in the master bed uh, in the master bedroom is another full bathroom y'all Another huge full bathroom. So here is the sink and counter area. I'm, I'm gonna love having this counter space because I've just had a little pedestal sink for so long. And now I've got full uh, counter space here. And then here's the toilet and the tub. And it's got a window in here too as well. So two full bedrooms, two full baths. And then over here across the hall, is a little bit of a smaller bedroom and this is going to be Andrew's man cave so he can have his space to himself and this is going to be his room to do whatever he wants make it his music room his game room whatever he likes and um, we've got some cable running over here we got to get our internet hooked up but it's the same thing just a nice bedroom and it's got two closets in it so I don't know, we can use these for storage, I suppose. Maybe we can make one a coat closet or something, but it's got two small closets in it. I'll have some applications to the door. You can put in an application for what you want to use the closet for. Or no, <laughs> except for in the We're probably going to use it for storage. I mean, I don't know what else we would use it for, just storage, but it has two closets. And then he's got a lovely view from his room. And so what we're going to do in the living room actually 
is make it kind of into two spaces. So we're gonna have a little seating area where we can have guests, you know, like a little couch and table kind of thing. Then I'm probably going to over here, put one of those little like room divider screens, maybe about right here where this light socket is. And then I'm gonna have my little desk and work area over there. Um, so when you first walk in the front door, you'll come into the seating area and then you can go around the screen and get to my little work area and my little um, space of my own. So that's kind of how we're gonna work that. Another great thing about this apartment is we do not share walls with anyone. This is like a fourplex and we are on the top floor and the apartment across from us is separated by like an outdoor hallway and nobody lives underneath us. They are currently renovating that. But even if somebody did move in, like we sh we're still not sharing walls. So I really love that. So right outside of our apartment, this is the view of the woods right behind us so this is where we're going to be walking the dogs and stuff down here by this little creek look at those pretty uh, flowers on those trees too that's just gorgeous and this is the view from uh, many of our windows in our apartment and there's some little bird houses somebody has down there too all right y'all we are back at the cabin now and we're about to start trying to get our stuff together because we're leaving first thing in the morning to go back to colorado um, so I'm going through all the stuff in the cabin trying to figure out what we can leave here in the apartment and what needs to travel back with us to Colorado. We have some like food stuff and just random stuff that we bought at the cabin that can stay at the apartment. We need to keep the cars as empty as possible so we can bring back as much stuff with us as possible. And Andrew just got a call from uh, the restaurant and they are ready for him to start working here as soon as possible. So we get to get back as quickly as we can. Um, I've got to clean up the cabin because we've just been kind of leaving our mess here and leaving. So I've got to clean everything up here, pack up our stuff, except for what we're going to need in the morning and get together some stuff to take to the apartment. So that's what I'm working on now. It's like 4 PM. We are so tired because we've been going all week and you know, we did a little party in last night and didn't get enough sleep, but that's our fault. But now we're tired and we got to deal with all this. I am just so ready to be working towards moving. I just want to be packing. I just want to be doing something. I don't like, I just don't want to sit here. So I'm going to do everything that I can. I made some coffee for us, some Starbucks cinnamon Dolce. This is like my favorite coffee right now. So hopefully the caffeine will help me in my mission. I'm gonna start with cleaning off this little table right here. So I've got all of the dog stuff, which obviously we need to keep some of their stuff out, their treats and their food, and I'll have to pack that up in the morning. I've got Andrew's bread. We're gonna keep this here so he can have it for breakfast. These buns, unfortunately, are not gonna make it until we get back. Um, so I'm probably gonna throw those out. Andrew, do you want to eat these for, with anything? I mean, we don't have any burgers mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to toss these. Up here on the refrigerator, I've got my electrolyte drink mix, which I have not been drinking these. I brought them with me to drink them and I haven't been drinking them. Um, I am not gonna bring these back with me because I have a box of these at the house in Colorado. So I'm gonna leave these here at our apartment. Andrew, what do you want me to do with these Pringles? Just leave them. Leave them here or leave them at the apartment? Yeah. Uh, I got about a half a fifth of Jim Beam Vanilla. Andrew and I were drinking on that one night. It's really good with the Diet Coke, or we uh, mixed it with Coke Zero. Really good, it tastes like Vanilla Coke and Jim Beam. Um, so we're gonna leave that behind because we are kind of tired of drinking. We've been in vacation mode for the past week. We drank like several nights that we were here and we're just done, we're just done with it. Andrew and I, neither one of us are big drinkers, so. Once we go on vacation and drink, we're good for like a year. Uh, but I will hold on to that in case we ever want to have a drink. So what I'm going to do is I've been saving our shopping bags when we've gone to the store like Walmart and the grocery store. And I'm going to fill these bags up with stuff that we can take to the apartment. And we'll probably take it over there tonight so that we don't have to fiddle with that in the morning. So I got one bag going. I'm trying to find good angles and the lighting is not great because we're in this dark cabin, but hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here on the table. I've got to clean all this stuff off. 
So we bought this aluminum foil to grill with. I'm, we're gonna leave this behind at the apartment. I'm gonna put that in our bag. Um, I bought this lint roller and never even used it, but hey, you can always use a lint roller. We'll leave that at the apartment. A metal straw that I brought with me, a book, uh, my journal. Is this my empty journal? Yeah, this is my empty journal that I'm just about to start on. So I'm gonna bring that with me because I've still been journaling, not every single day, but um, most days I've still been journaling. But my book that I never even started reading that I got from Books A Million, I ended up only getting the first book of the series and I never even started reading it, <laughs> Red Sister. Um, but I will once we get settled. So I'm gonna leave this behind, I'm gonna leave this here. We've got a map of the cabins don't really need that anymore there's just like some dishes and trash here um, that I'm gonna clean up a crystal that we found not on federal land I swear <laughs> so I'm just gonna clean all this up and then move on to another area oh also I never showed you guys my keychain that I got off Etsy so I'll show it to you now um, it is an amethyst that's like a real amethyst and it's a little sun charm and a little purple tassel charm thing. I love this. I'll put the link to the shop I got it from on Etsy. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen and I'll put it in the link down below. Um, it was really inexpensive and I just wanted something special that was like my keychain. So once we get back down here, we're obviously bringing both cars and the white car is going to be my car. And the orange car is going to be Andrew's car. Of course, we will switch them up if need be or whatever. But right now we're traveling together, so we're both in the white car. But yeah, um, that's going to be my own car. And I am going to continue being independent, driving myself around, doing my own thing, having my own life. Okay, so more of that to come. It's just right now we're together because it was easier for us to come down here in one car. Oh, it is so cold in here. I just had to turn on the oven and open the door to warm it up. Like this place is just not meant for winter and it's like 48 degrees here and the heater in here sucks. This is supposed to be a summer cabin and it's freezing cold in the early spring. We've got like the bathroom heater going, the stove going. I got the water going on, you turn that off. So I'm about to wash the dishes that we've used um, so I can get that out of the way and then I'm gonna finish packing up like the kitchen stuff, so. All right, I got the dishes washed except for the two pans I still need to wash, but I got all of the other dishes washed. And now we've got a few things over here that I can take to the apartment. These storage containers that I bought for our leftovers while we were here take these I'm gonna take these plastic bags also that I never even ended up using plastic storage bags we'll take those over to the apartment um, our dishwashing liquid that I bought for us while we were here coffee straws I'm gonna leave here because we're gonna need those in the morning so I'm gonna add all these to the bag actually I think I'm gonna get have to get a new bag out because I've already filled up the other one so they have not gotten rid of plastic bags in Arkansas. In Colorado, they no longer have plastic bags or the places that do, they have to charge you like 10 cents. They have started charging for bags here in Arkansas, but they still have them. So, I mean, I don't know. Eventually I think they'll do away with them, but right now we still have them. And so I'm gonna use them for moving. And also we will use them for trash and like cat litter. Y'all, Arkansas is a little bit behind the times in a lot of things. Um, it's beautiful and, and wonderful to live here in our opinion, but you gotta make some sacrifices too. We're used to living in a very progressive state of Colorado where there's legal weed, decriminalized mushrooms, and um, just much more progressive laws all around. Here in Arkansas, they just repealed the child labor laws. So, yeah, and now they can freely employ underage immigrant children to work on farms and in chicken houses and things. So that's kind of fucked up. Um, but you know, I didn't vote for it, okay? And this is my home. So yeah, um, we'll come here and we'll add our um, liberal vote to the voting pool of Arkansas. <laughs> I don't know if it'll help but you gotta try. Okay, y'all, I only have a few minutes left on my memory card, so I'm gonna finish packing up. You get the idea. I'm just packing up the stuff that we're gonna take over there, and we'll probably take it over there tonight. Um, we forgot to buy any food for tonight, so we're gonna have to go back into town, and we'll just do all this at once. 
the dogs are over there barking they're ready for their dinner too so we got to take care of that all right y'all we're back at the apartment and we are unpacking the few bags and stuff that we got to put up here we got our gym beam up there maybe we should put that in the cabinet why i don't know who's gonna see it I don't know. I don't want people thinking that I'm a drunkard. Who's going to think that? I don't know. Who are you worried about right now? I don't know. All right, y'all. Andrew and I are probably just going to grab some burgers and go rest for the rest of the night because we got to get up early in the morning. Um, we got all the stuff dropped off at the apartment. And I guess that's going to do it for now. I know a lot of these vlogs are not going to have proper endings because I'm just filming willy-nilly, whatever I can, wherever I can. But I'm trying to do endings. So, um, hopefully this will be an ending and I will see you guys, um, tomorrow for our trip back to Colorado to get all of our stuff. I'm just going to keep vlogging everything. And when I get back to my computer, I'll start putting out videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the new apartment and I can't wait for us to do some unpacking vlogs y'all coming soon. All right. Have a good night. Bye.